We await the tap of the boys game, and boy, what a thriller in the first game of the night as the Lady Bison come from behind. Two free throws by Riley Tassel with 4.5, Van Tassel, excuse me, with uh, 4.5 seconds. Seals the win for South, 34-33 in that first run. But we had four free throw attempts in the last eight seconds of that game. First, we had Andrea Demas who had two. She missed them, and then Van Tassel fought for the rebound, got fouled. She had two free throws that she made, gave us the lead. Four seconds left in the game, Steve, and that was all we needed. And we're going to do the national anthem once again here. I have eaten a pretzel and a Chick-fil-A sandwich for all the fans out there. Great rendition there by the South High <clears throat> Jazz so, Band. I've got one for you. Your South High Bison will be starting an all-senior lineup for the first time since 2016. Wow. Laramie will come out like this. Number two, Malin Morris. Morris is a freshman, and he stands 6'3". Garrett Dodd is a senior. Dodd, excuse me, a junior. He's six feet three inches tall. Where's number five? Jaden Brown, a freshman. He's a little guy, though. He's five seven. I don't think he's that tall. Bridger Bleak is number fifteen. He's not five seven. He's I, six five. He just ran in front of us. He is not. And that dude's five, not seven. six five either. Give me a break. And then Tyler Oppie. Oppie listed at six one. He's a senior. And they're coached by former Bison head coach Jim Schaefer. So the seniors tonight for South, Cameron Bird, Kevin Bell, Tiger Moite, Tannen Van, Tannen Van Tassel. Tassel, and Hunter Scott will be the five seniors starting for South. We'll see how long they stay in. All these seniors played for Coach Jim Schaefer when they were sophomores. Dan Van Tassel, such a hard worker. Such a hard worker. Hunter doesn't even shake Schaefer's hand. He left him hanging. Left him hanging. But he thanked him in a speech. So, so South lost earlier this year, 69 to 49. But Steve Laramie, Laramie without two of their top two guns. of the top guns. So Bridger Bleak and the taps won by South. Kevin Bell comes away with it to Cameron Bird. Tiger with it up top, Moite to Bird. Bell, three ball, doesn't get it to go. Rebound chased down by Dodd. Quickly ahead to Bleak. Bleak to Brown. Brown misses the three, and Cameron Bird's off to the races. He'll go all the way for a two-point basket. South with the early 2-0 lead. Here comes... Number two, Malin Morris. There's a three ball attempt there by Tyler Oppie, and that's good. So Laramie with a quick lead on the three ball. Just about a minute into the game, 3-2, Plainsman. Bell to Van Tassel, up top to Scott. 
to Moite. Moite, get to get to the lane, and he's gonna be fouled on the way up. This is Tiger Moite going to the free throw line for two. Garrett Dodd picks up the foul. These free throws brought to you by Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. And he misses the first free throw. Tiger does shoot 0% on the season from the free throw line. But he hasn't taken many. <laughs> nope. Misses both of them here in Laramie quickly the other way. Here's Oppie. And that's going to be out of bounds too much for Bridger Bleak. Bridger Bleak. Bridger Bleak, all 6'5 of him, standing <laughs> eye to eye with Hunter Scott, who's like six feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe they measure to the top of his hair. He does have a pretty good updo there. Bird into the lane, gets to Van Tassel. Wing shot. That's Bell. his money spot. Rebound Moite. Tiger, that is. Back to Bird. Bird's going to drive and try to get to the hole, and he's fouled. They're going to say it's on the floor. 22, Tyler Oppie picks up the foul there. South will have it underneath their own basket. Malin Morris it's gonna, gonna be, be a block. blocking foul on Tiger Moite, yep. I believe. Yep. So Laramie will take it in, out underneath their own basket. That foul brought to you by Pena Business Services. Inbound play there yep. to Garrett Dodd. Can't get it to go. You better not do be that again. Tannen. And it's going to be Tan and Van Tassel. It's going to send Garrett Dodd to the free throw line. 5.7 points a game. Laramie, honestly, as a team, they're a good free throw shooting team, Steve. 66% on the season. Jeremiah Moite and Leandre Ray into the game. Largest and lead of the Mari game. And Mari Alexander right now. as well. Yep, four to two on the Majestic Butterfly scoreboard. Make that five to two, and Cameron Bird will bring it up for South. Bird goes around to Oppie, and he's going to get hammered there. Let's see who got him. A lot of fouls early on here. And that's Oppie with his second foul. Christian Michelson, number one, averaging 14 points a game. He's out with an injury. Boy, South 0 for 3. And then number, really going from the line. number three, Noah Valdez, averaging 10 points a game, out with an injury. Noah Valdez only played 10 games, so he must have got injured earlier in the season. Eli Kern in for Laramie. I wonder if that Chuck's kid. Chuck Kern. Former Laramie oh, head coach. misses all four of their first four free throws. Steal by Bell. He gets down low, and there's going to be another foul by Laramie underneath. Ah, Kevin should have finished that. He should have taken it up himself, but I like the idea because Cameron was wide open under the basket too, but... So South will have it underneath their own basket. Six fouls called in the first minute, 45 seconds of this game. <laughs> we knew this it was going to be a long, long night. <laughs> Bird back behind three. Gets it to Leandre, back out to Mari. Now South wins this game, Steve. It'll, four, it'll be put them and Laramie in a tie. I don't know what the tiebreaker is. Mori loses the turnover. Here comes Malin Morris. He's going to go all the way. Misses the layup. Rebound Alexander. And here comes Cameron Bird in the Bison. Bell to Leandre Ray. On top to Jeremiah Moite. Leandre to Cameron. Cameron's going to race for three. That's too long. Rebound to Morse. 
And here comes Brown for Laramie. What do they have him listed as? 5'7". He's got to be 5'5", five, five, I'm thinking, 5'4", five, 5'5". Yeah. Five, five. Their, their heights are a little overinflated on this Laramie team. Ooh. Almost a steal by Bird there. Cameron almost got called for a foul there. And he finally does get it stole. Jaden Brown just dribbling around too much. He and needs Mario to get Alexander rid of it. And Mario Alexander throws it right out of bounds. And Jim Shaver's going to call a timeout. 30 seconds. Save old Shaver with the scowl on his face. Let's take a little timeout with him. On 11-12 BISN. Your Bison Network. Missile Drive Auto Body is a full-service auto body repair facility in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We have established a reputation as an auto repair shop that is honest, performs quality body repairs and refinish, and strives for excellent customer service. And we guarantee our workmanship for as long as you own your vehicle. Call us today at 307-635-0639 or visit us at 1910 Missile Drive in Cheyenne. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. And we're back. And in typical Jim Schaefer fashion, I, I miss it. I miss his good. <laughs> Calls the early timeout and then just goes. He goes to town for 25 <laughs> seconds in the last five seconds. Okay, let's go Pops ahead and do this, up. this, this, this. We got this, boys. <laughs> Jaden Brown down low to Malin Morris. That's a travel. Bridger Bleak. Cannot believe they have him list this six five. Boy, well, they. Not, <laughs> I wish they would have done that when Kyler played. Man, yeah, he would have been six some, four. Might have got some college, <laughs> college scouts looking at him. They knew he was six four. <laughs> Ray with it out top, dumps it down low to Alexander and Moore. He just loses the handle, but he gets it back out to Cameron Bird. Well, Chuck Curran playing good defense. Is that Chuck Curran? Eli Curran. Eli Curran. Chuck Curran. <laughs> uh, Andre down to Cameron, working on Eli. Yep. No shot on Is the floor. Is Eli going to get the foul? Yep. That's like three. I'd say out of the five fouls Army's been called, three of them have been because of Cameron's ability to draw that contact. 4.03 to go, first quarter. Not much more scoring in this one than there was nope. the girls one. Five to two. But that was, a, that was a girl score with like 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Until half. Till half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leandre Ray gives the cutting to Jeremiah Moite, who's on the end line. And now Hunter Scott's going to check back in and give Maury a blow. I'm going to give thanks to some of our sponsors out there. Without our sponsors, like Majestic Butterfly Scoreboard, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. He kept his dribble he there, folks. He kept his dribble. Malin Morris, turn around, right-hander oh. gets it to go, and Michael Mascarene is fouls him. So 7-2 to Laramie now, and South has got to start scoring in this game. That Morris kid's just a freshman, they said. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Wow, he's going to be a good. He's not? Number two? Yeah. Number two is a freshman, yeah. That, wow. I remember him at Laramie Junior High last last two years competing against uh, Merrick. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. He's a mature-looking little freshman. He's grown a lot since last year, too, though. So, Leandre with it. Mascarenas, cut sure. off to Ray. Ray, three ball. The bank is not open at this time on Friday night for Leandre. Hunter Scott turn around. The bank's not open for him either. Oh my goodness, big collision. What are we calling here? Hey. 
So fouls on yep. Leandre Ray. I didn't really see what happened. I just saw him boat lying on the floor. Leandre pulled him down. Did he? Fouls 5-4 here in the first quarter, so. Jaden Brown working on Cameron. He's just no match freshman on senior. No. Now number 11 in for Laramie. He kicks it out. Shot is missed there, but Eli Kern up for a big rebound. He can't get the turnaround to go. That's off Morris's hands, and it'll be south ball. No, he got the ball. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, people better start settling down or there's going to be some we'll tea be, action thrown here. We'll be the only ones in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Mascarenas, he's going to get down to the lane. Can't get the right-hander to go. And they're going to say the rebound's off Jansen Adair, number 11. Garrett Dodd going to check back in. 45 also in for Laramie. That's Trey Enzi. Bell, left-hander, gets it to go. That was a good, strong drive there by Bell. Eight to four, Laramie with the lead. Eight, excuse me, 2.06 to go, first quarter. High school regular season wraps up for South tonight. They'll be in Gillette next week. At Thunder Basin High School. Yep, junior the, highs wrap up their season tomorrow. Regional. Who do you got now? I've got the B teams tomorrow. Three ball, no good there. Oh, Trey Enzi up for a tough rebound there for Laramie. And Laramie with the 10-6 lead, 146 to go. First quarter, Ray drives to the hole. Can't get it to go. Hunter fight for a rebound, but he can't get it. Here comes Malin Morris up again. Garrett Dodd there just went right around Cameron Bird for a two-point basket. 12-4. Now Laramie with an eight-point lead. Mari Alexander going to check back in now. I believe Hunter Scott's going to take a rest here. Tiger Moite going to come back in as well. Cameron Bird going to take a little bit of a rest. So Tiger will bring it up the court for the Bison. Kevin Bell with it now to Maury. Yep. Over to Tiger. It's an there. offensive foul. Kevin Bell threw it out there. And he get a tee? Yep. 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 So he got both of them, huh? Yep. <laughs> he probably argued the foul, which you can't do. And of course. So who's shooting the free throws here? The first one's good. Garrett Dodd. I can use I could see the Facebook posts already, Steve. Yep. <laughs> oh, there was an offensive foul. And just so you know, for the fans out there, that was an offensive foul. I don't know what happened to draw the technical, but it was an offensive foul. Yeah, and I think the South fans need to get over this notion that, yeah, that all the refs are out to get him. That's that's, that's baloney. Stupid. That's baloney. These are three for a state refs. Three exactly. ball there. Can't go. Rebound. They scrum around for it down low. Should be a try. Boy, should have. Yeah, could have been a walk. But they come away with it. Kobe Bartow 
South needs to just slow down, slow take a the breath. Game down, exactly. They're down nine, 48 seconds. See if they can get a good possession here. I don't think they want to go down double digits here in the first quarter. Tiger Moite dribbles down to the block ah. and then goes right through Kobe Bardo's hands. So 30 seconds to go. Laramie moving it around. You can tell this is a show, Schaefer coach team. Yeah. How so? Really like to press the ball off screens. That was Pitt right there. They just ran. Remember Pitt all those years? Yep. They just ran it. <laughs> a lot of back screens, back cuts, really aggressive play to the basket. So 10 seconds to go. See if they can get a last shot. Dodd. Can't get it off, and that'll end yep. the quarter. And there's a late foul call. Yeah, Ray got him in the face. Ray got him in the face, yeah, that's man. That's going to be a shooting foul, too, huh? Ray knows it. And that'll send got him Jason in the face. Adair to the line for two. Chance to give Laramie the double-digit lead. Can't, can't hit people in the face. <laughs> you just can't. They could have called it intentional. So right now it stands at 13 to four, 14 to four. And I don't think a single one of these refs that are doing this game even live in Cheyenne. They don't, they're all three from Casper. They could care less. So that's so, gonna be it at the end of the first quarter, Steve. Yep. 15 to 4 Laramie on the 11-12 BISN. Your Bison Network. Pena Business Services, providing bookkeeping, payroll, tax, and notary services since 2007. At Pena Business Services, they help small to medium sized companies and nonprofits for all your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax needs. They also help individuals with their tax preparations, helping manage your day to day accounting with services provided on a schedule that fits your budget. Their goal is providing business owners like you peace of mind on your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax concerns so you can focus on your business. Bookkeeping is like a puzzle. Do you know where to put all of the pieces? Give Pena Business Services a call at 307-369-2708 to set up a free consultation. Okay. Back here Bison Gymnasium. Not a good first quarter for the South High Bison. They find themselves down 15 to 4. To the Laramie Plainsman. Laramie will have the first crack out of here in the second period. A lot of fouls already called in the first quarter of this game. 12 to be exact. That's a long first quarter, Steve. Backdoor cut too far for Mayla Morris. That was that looked like motion post. The old motion post play. The old motion post. Excuse me. South with the ball there down low is. to Maury Alexander on the block. Yes. He puts it up and in for two points. That was a great, great play by Alexander. That's someone we need to get involved in this game. Malin Morris gets it to Kern. Kern Ooh. to Brown. No, it wasn't a travel. He never left his feet. Jeez, these fans are going crazy. Oh, I love our fans, but <laughs> oh, they just don't know the rules, man. Some of them sometimes. Yeah. Right hand by Dodd. Can't get it to go. Well, you see it Tiger. Tiger just skied for that rebound. Bird tries to get there. There's a lot of contact. No call. Laramie quickly the other way. Eli Kern to Brown. Down low and it's out of bounds. Turnover. Dodd turns it over. Dodd not happy with South one of his ball. teammates. Eli Kern, a sophomore. I think they were just discussing homework, Steve. Could have been. 
Down low to Moore. There's a nice feed. No shots going to be on the floor. Foul, I believe it's on the floor. That was a great feed down low. That's what they need to do. They need to keep feeding the ball to Alexander. He just finds a way to score, Steve. He's so strong down there. Keep feeding him the ball, and he's going to get you a lot of points. Two fouls on Dodd for Laramie. Dodd and Tyler Oppie both have two for Laramie. Haven't seen Oppie since he got his second foul, I don't believe. Bird wide open there. Way too strong, but it's going to be wrangled down by Kevin Bell. Mari in the lane, right hand up and nice. in. So Mari with all four points here in the second quarter. For Sal, there is a timeout. Let's take one with him. You're listening to High School Basketball, 1112 BISC. Your Bison Network. Do you just want to feel better, move better, and love your life? Then it's time to get physical. At Physical, through our comprehensive programs, you will discover how to achieve the pinnacle of healthy living, expand your boundaries, and love your life again. Call us at 307-772-0955. Let's get moving again and experience the physical difference today. So South jumps out to a 4-0 run here to start the second quarter. Close the gap, scores Laramie 15 south eight on the Majestic Butterfly scoreboard. He's got his jersey tied. <laughs> yeah, because it's probably the smallest one they got. <laughs> probably goes down to his knees. <laughs> oh. I don't know why he don't just tuck it in. Bird almost steals it away from Brown. Malin Morris gets into the lane. Right-hander can't get it to go. Ooh, that's going to be three fouls on Bell. Yep. yep. That's yeah. going to send Malin Morris to the line for that's two. That's going to send Mascarenas, and Bell's going to be sitting for the Saddle. whole first, the first half. Morris makes the first. Even the South coaching staff saying, you guys got to get in there and take a charge, you know. Seven, nine point lead now. 17-8. Laramie with the lead. 5.50 to go to a half. Tyler Oppie knocks it away from Bird. There's a turnover. Larrabee, Brown with it. Three ball, that's good. Yeah, Schaefer does like his three-point shooters, man. And that, that kid knocked it down. Someone else is going to have to step up, man, because Cameron's not going to be able to take on the load all by himself. Three ball by Cameron misses. Here comes Dodd. They do a good job of stopping ball there. Brown short on the three there. Offensive foul, or foul on the rebound, rather, by Malin Morris. And that should be one and one. Yep. It's gonna send Mascarenas. So Laramie's gonna be in a little bit of foul trouble here. Three of their starters all have two fouls apiece. We still got five minutes to go till halftime. So I talked to Schaefer a couple weeks ago. The Laramie Junior High team was there in town and he stayed to watch them. And South and Laramie had literally just played each other, right? And I asked him, how did that feel playing your old program? And he said, honestly, Alan, I was scared to death. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yep. He said he was scared, scared to death because he didn't know how, how the teams would, how, how the team, how his team was going to play and how South's team was going to play against him, you know, so. I have nothing but the utmost respect for Schaefer. Oh, yeah, Jim Schaefer, man. He built this program from scratch. Hall of Fame coach. Took him to a state championship game in there. Sixth or seventh year of existence. Mascarene is three, and it's way too strong. Moite, Jeremiah with the rebound. He gets stuffed by Enzi, and the ball comes away to Adair. And there's tons of contact there. It's gonna Adair be a lays on, it up and in. It's going to be a foul on Bird. So 
Singh threatening to get out of reach for South. Laramie up 14, about to go up 15 maybe. With four minutes to go till half. And they do. Majestic Butterfly scoreboard has Laramie 23, South 8. Those free throws brought to you by Missile Drive Auto Body, but you had Leandre Ray who did that cut wide open. Yep, that's going to be a foul. And that's going to send Leandre to the free throw line for a one and one. There is no three. Three is a shooter. <laughs> I've done oh, that before. So I've, on number 11. I've, I've done it before. I've done it here before quite a few times, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's common. South 0 for 6 from the charity stripe, Steve. Boy, Missed Leandre. By Larry. Great Leandre rebound Ray, by yeah. Ray. He's quickly coming the other way. Down low. Nice look there. Marcus Manzanares with a two-point basket for South. 23-10 now. Oh, they're going to call Bird with a foul there, yeah. I think. I, it could have gone either way, in my opinion. I think that... I thought, uh, uh, I thought oh, Brown hooked him. I thought Brown hooked him, too. I thought he got a good deep hook on him, and that <laughs> should have honestly been on number 13. But, you know, we, we weren't over there. We can't see what he saw. But from our side, he couldn't see what we saw. That's right. And he, he, didn't, he didn't see the hook. That was the old hook and ladder there. Man. He didn't see that hook. But you know what? You can't see everything on the floor. Brown makes both his free throws. So Laramie. Ray Kern back in. Laramie's like 11 for 12 from the line. It sounds like what? 0 one? for 6. 0 for 6. <laughs> Billy Kern back in. Eli. Eli. Manzanares. Long three pointer there. So Marcus off the bench scores five points here in the second quarter. Leads all south scores. Feed down low, almost take it away. It is. Mari Alexander, two on one. Mari's going to go all the way, right hand up and in. And lead now down to 10. South on a little 5-0 run. Three nineteen to go till half. Eli Kern with it for Laramie. He'll give it off to Adair. South playing really good defensively. And the travel! The travel. Holy cow, Casey Bramett called that from clear across the court. <laughs> yep. Well, they say if you have the better angle, good yep. angle, doesn't, doesn't matter. South with a chance to get this back into single digits, Steve. Down low to Mari. That's and the travel. garbage man gets knocked away, but there's a foul. Yep, he got bailed out on that one. More importantly, it's going to send him to the free throw line where he is a lethal, Steve. Check this out. A lethal 71%. Dodd picks up his third. I just like Alexander. He, that, he's just a good ball player, all-around ball player. Six points. He's only got one rebound so far, but you know those are going to come in bunches. Makes the first. Here's the stats. Tyler Oppie going to check in for Garrett Dodd. Down to a nine point Laramie lead. Just a solid all around ball player, Steve. Maury misses the second. I a jinxed him. for the rebound. If any of Maury's family's watching, I'm sorry, I jinxed him. Showing Almost his. A steal by Manzanares, then they get it down low. 
to number 15, Bridger Bleak. Ray looking over for the play, and he's... That's another one we need to get going here. Leandre can score in bunches, too. Get it to him. I don't think that kick can guard him. Manzanares right hand up and in. Marcus having a season high game for him. What do we have here? It's going to be on Marcus. Technical. What did he do? No, he, he's owning up to it, too. Did you see what he did? I didn't. Let me rewind. What did he do? Do you know? Did you see it? No. Oops, I'm on the girls game. Brown makes the first, misses the second. Laramie will have the possession now. I am efforting the replay right now as we speak. If I can get internet. So I'll keep this thing going here. Brown with it now. 28 18, 218 to go till half. Brown misses. Up for the rebound, big time is Ray Doherty. Here comes Cameron Bird. Cameron Bird up and in for a two point basket. Lead down to eight by Laramie. Under two to go. Oppie with it. And a hand check there. Called on Michael Mascarenas. Laramie go to the line for there in the double bonus now. Man, Bill Lyons taking a beating by these South fans here. Okay, here's the play. Oh, he taunted. He taunted. Oh, did he? He taunted him, yep. Playing his day. Yep. <laughs> so for those of you wondering, that's what the technical foul was for. He was taunting. <laughs> I'll get you for that every time. Same taunt that I fouled, I tech, I teed my own kid up for. Yeah. Yep. Ran by a kid and clapped right in his face as he was running right by him. That's stupid. <laughs> That's just. <laughs> Got to control your emotion. Three. There you go. Seven point lead. So South shipping away. I think Laramie had as high as a. What was it, 15-point lead? Yes. Now a dare. That's good defense by Bird. Oh, but a dare Boy, just you raises. Can't, you can't play better defense than that, and he just raised up and hit that short jumper. He just jumper. rose. Hello, 13's holding him, yep. Had a full hold of his jersey. You couldn't even see what number Michael was. He had it like all bunched up in his fist. So, <laughs> so Mascarene is going to the free throw line for the double. Oh, there's been a lot of fouls called, huh? Man, there has, both in double bonus. Makes the first. 32 24. Across the way, you got the cross, another crosstown rivalry, East and Central playing. The winner of that game will be the number one seed out of the Southeast. Or at least force a, yeah, force a tie. Masqueradus gets them both to go. Lead back to seven for Laramie, under a minute to go till half. Yeah. 
Laramie running zip to score. Yep. <laughs> That's a Jim Schaefer staple. They're running pretty good, actually. South defending it really well. That was a carry. Three ball there is good by Bridger Bleak. Bridger. South looking for a last shot, down 10. Masqueradus doesn't get a very good shot off. Manzanares. Manzanares, excuse me. And, oh, that'll do it here for the first half. So at halftime, the score is Laramie, 35 South, 25. You're listening to High School Basketball, 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. Pena Business Services, providing bookkeeping, payroll, tax, and notary services since 2007. At Pena Business Services, they help small to medium sized companies and nonprofits for all your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax needs. They also help individuals with their tax preparations, helping manage your day to day accounting with services provided on a schedule that fits your budget. Their goal is providing business owners like you peace of mind on your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax concerns so you can focus on your business. Bookkeeping is like a puzzle. Do you know where to put all of the pieces? Give Pena Business Services a call at 307-369-2708 to set up a free consultation. Welcome to the historic Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins. Located in scenic Thermopolis, Wyoming, it is within walking distance access to the Hot Springs State Park, as well as world-class fishing, motorcycling, golfing, rodeo grounds, and downtown shopping and restaurants. A Wyoming family-owned and operated motel for travelers offers seasonal rates for nightly, weekly, and monthly rentals. Senior, military, and government discounts are also available. Stay at the Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins on your next visit to Thermopolis, Wyoming. Make your reservation by calling 307-421 7520 and tell them 1112 BISN Center. Activity programs instill a sense of pride in school and community. At a cost of only 1 to 3 percent of overall school budget, high school activity programs are a bargain. Activities are not a diversion but rather an extension of a good educational program. Mental and physical health are improved through activities. Schools that have music programs have higher graduation rates 90.2 percent compared to 72.9 percent. Statistics aside, join the ride. We are Wyoming High Schools. Missile Drive Auto Body is a full-service auto body repair facility in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We have established a reputation as an auto repair shop that is honest, performs quality body repairs and refinish, and strives for excellent customer service. And we guarantee our workmanship for as long as you own your vehicle. Call us today at 307-635-0639 or visit us at 1910 Missile Drive in Cheyenne. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. You're watching the Bison. 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. It's much more affordable than you realize to protect your family with the Robert Martinez Agency. Having life insurance will protect you and your loved ones and help insure the future. As a trusted advisor, Robert Martinez will guide you through the wide range of life insurance plans and their fantastic benefits to find an affordable plan with the right coverages. Working to guide and secure your future. Robert Martinez Agency, 20th and Central in downtown Cheyenne. Call for a no-obligation consultation and quote at 307-514-5003. Whether you're a competitive athlete or a weekend warrior, it's frustrating when an injury keeps you from the activities you love. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers has helped thousands of clients recover from sports injuries and reclaim their lifestyles. Treating a variety of injuries, including sprains, post-surgical, foot and ankle injuries, as well as back and neck injuries. Our therapists will develop a personalized treatment plan to help you heal and hasten your recovery and minimize your risk of re-injury. Call 307-772-0955 to schedule an appointment now. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers, let's get moving again. 
Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon knows great hair. Whether it's for a trim, getting rid of stubborn gray hair, or just freshen up, Majestic Butterfly is a cut above the rest. Formal hairdos for school dances, or getting ready for the happiest day of your life. The professionals at Majestic Butterfly know how to make you look your best and feel your best for every day and for every occasion. Offering women's, men's, and children haircuts, color services, perms, eyelash extensions, and eyebrow and lip waxing. Call 307-369-2201 now for a free consultation and schedule your appointment. Stylists can also be contacted directly at the numbers below. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly, hair and beyond. Friendships. For the memories. For the excitement. For the challenge. For the love of the game. Time management. To rise above the challenge. To respect others. To be humble. To never quit. The officials. To the positive fans. The parents. To the coaches. To the teammates. We are Wyoming High Schools. Hit a deer. Parking lot dings, hail damage, or just roadway demolition derby? No matter how your vehicle gets damaged, Missile Drive Auto Body will make sure it gets repaired back to pre-loss condition and as quickly as possible. No shortcuts, no compromises. And remember, where you get your car repaired is not your insurance company's decision, it's yours. Call today for an estimate appointment at 307-635-0639. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. This broadcast is being brought to you by the Bison. 1112 BISN, your Bison Network. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers in Cheyenne is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. Our highly skilled, compassionate team of therapy providers are 100% focused on achieving optimal health and wellness for you. If you are tired of living in pain, want to just feel better and move better, or want to improve your strength, endurance, and physical conditioning, then it's time to get physical. Experience the physical difference today by calling 307-772-0955 or visit their website at physicalcenters.com. Physical Therapy Therapy and Balance Centers. Let's get moving again. More than 7.7 million American teenagers participate in high school sports every year, including about 19,000 here in Wyoming. They're all learning essential life lessons, like the importance of hard work, time management, and self-discipline, skills that are helping them become better leaders and more active, responsible citizens. This message presented by the Wyoming High School Activities Association and the Wyoming Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Bookkeeping is like a puzzle. Do you know where to put all the pieces? Pena Business Services does and they can help. Realizing your company is like its own unique puzzle, it's their goal to show you how your company is reaching its goals on a weekly, monthly, or quarterly basis. Offering bookkeeping, payroll, and tax services that are tailored to fit your business. At Pena Business Services, they can help allow you to focus on your business and effectively serve your customers. Set up your free consultation now by calling 307-369-2708. Pena Business Services, solving your bookkeeping puzzle one piece at a time. Hey, this is Steve. And this is Alan. And you're listening to The Bison on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. Choosing the right collector car insurance is critical. That's why American National provides clients with reliable, consistent service. Robert Martinez has first-hand knowledge of the concerns collector car and truck owners face, and American National has created a policy with the coverage and enhancements you need to protect your valuable investment. Call Robert Martinez with American National Insurance at 307-514-5003 or visit his office at 2005 Central Avenue in Cheyenne. The Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins is the place to stay the next time you're in Thermopolis, Wyoming. One review from TripAdvisor says, The Round Top is a great place to stay, not only because it's old-fashioned and quaint, not only because it's very inexpensive, and not only because you truly feel like a guest, it is also just a 10-minute walk to the hot springs. I don't know why you'd want to stay anywhere else. Make your reservation now at the Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins by calling 307-421-7520. Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon treats your hair like their canvas. 
Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly offers women, men's, and children haircuts, as well as color services and perms. Your hair is their masterpiece. So if you are looking for a new style, great hair doesn't happen by chance, it happens by appointment. Our stylist can schedule an appointment by calling any of the numbers below, or you can call Majestic Butterfly directly at 307-369-2201. Majestic Butterfly, beautiful hair with beautiful care. Oh, it's the third quarter, Steve, and uh, one more half until we're done for the year. Where does the time go? 35-25 is your halftime score. <clears throat> Laramie with the 10-point lead. Unless uh, one of the South teams, hey, there's a Habakorn sighting. Bobby! Bobby! <laughs> South actually outscored Laramie in that second quarter, 21-20. Yep. It was that first quarter. You get 15-4 in that first quarter. How do you score four points in one quarter and 21 in the next? <laughs> I think it was their emotions. I think their emotions were getting the best of them. They settled down. Then they got that run going. Then they let their emotions get the best of them again. Two technical fouls. They really need to try to maybe cut this to a two-possession game going into the fourth. And maybe set that as a goal. Nine South. for 23 from the field. You know, they didn't, they didn't shoot that bad until they got to the free throw line. Three for 10, Steve, from the free throw line. And those were the same woes that plagued them against Central when they played Central. Couldn't hit a free throw. And just so you know, South had 11 fouls in the first half. Laramie had 10. So there really wasn't a discrepancy other than the two technical fouls. So South will start with the first possession. They get it down to Moite. Well, that, number 13, it like, that number 13 likes to grab Jersey. He just did it again. This time they didn't see it. Ball goes off of Laramie to South. He knows he's being overpowered down there, and he's just grabbing Jersey. He's just... Too small to hang. Yeah. Defensively. Got to get the ball in there. You get go. it into Bell. Gets it out to Ray. And he gets it to Maury. Ooh, almost Got knocked a away, but Maury chased it down. And then we're going to have a whistle away from yep. the ball. It's going to be on number two. Three fouls on Morris. He's not doing anything, to him. Gosh, you know. <laughs> Just can't cross over. And uh. there's a steal by Oppie. Well, he should never have stopped there, but <laughs> he did, and he gets the bucket to go. First two <laughs> points of the half belong to Laramie. That's that's the one thing about being a young team is you let your emotions sometimes get the best of you. This Bird, wow, Cameron, I was, that's a I was, circus shot. I was, there. I was just about to say this is where this is the time where Cameron needs to come in, take that leadership role. 
right. settle the team down, you know. What better way than to hit a basket? And that's too easy the other way. Bridge or Bleak, two-point basket there. Now Burr, again, tries a circus shot, and he's fouled by Oppie, I believe. That's going to be his third. It's going to send Cameron to the free throw line. So Laramie has three starters with three fouls. Bird will be looking for his seventh and eighth point here. Breaks the first. Makes the first, misses the second, 11-point Laramie lead. Well, South, first three quarters of the season, Steve, was one of the best free throw shooting teams in the 4A Conference, and it's just steadily gone down. I don't know. Adair with it to Brown. Gets it out to Adair. Down low to Bleak on the backside for a two-point basket. That was good ball movement by Laramie. I think this is the nicest I've ever talked about, Laramie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so for all you Laramie fans, enjoy it. <laughs> I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in. Feed down to Mari. Control it. There you go. Oh, oh. Get, get it to go. Rebound to Bleak. Or excuse me, Adair. Now Kern. That's a great, great play oh, by what Kevin the Bell. Heck was that? <laughs> Kevin Bell tipped it. That's a, there you go. There's Kevin a Bell. hit. That's Bleak's first foul. So, Leandre Ray. 0 for 1 for the Missed night. Missed a drive out of body free throw attempts. Man, these free throws are yeah. not working well for Sal. What are they, about 3 for 12, 4 for 12? Can't be 33% from the line. No. Misses Cheers. both, man. <laughs> wow. Boy, South makes half their free throws, and this is a two-possession game. And Oppie just goes all the way the other way. Boy, South. Really lackluster here in the third quarter. Back up to a 15-point lead. <coughs> I, I, all this happened once Cameron got taken out of the game. You know, ball was tipped. Got to put Cameron back in there. I know you're trying to give him a break, but, man, he's, he's that drive for South, right? Here he comes. Bell for three. No. Oppie with the rebound. Kern, oh, wide open, bleak down low. They just lost him. So I wonder what, does the timeout even help you here? Slare me with his biggest lead of the game. 17. Bell, just not stroking it from three. Maury in the lane. Left hand, can't get it to go, gets the offensive rebound. And that's good. So 60 second timeout's gonna be called by South. 15 point Plainsman lead here on 11-12 BISN. Your Bison Network. Are you tired of living in pain? Do you just want to feel better, move better, and love your life? Then it's time to get physical. At Physical, through our comprehensive programs, you will discover how to achieve the pinnacle of healthy living, expand your boundaries, and love your life again. Call us at 307-772-0955. Let's get moving again and experience the physical difference today.
Well, we're back. We figured it out because we're mathematicians. South shooting an abysmal 28% from the free throw line. Four of 14. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That subscribe button is totally free. All it does is show your support to like a, four, a, four live web streamers like 1112BISN. Streamers that can bring you this content Jeez. for free at no cost to you. Tyler Oppie, two-point basket for Laramie, and South just not getting back on defense now. Laramie up by 17. Two-point basket there. I didn't see who got it, though. Manzanares did. Got his own rebound. He's got nine points in the game. It's probably his season high, isn't it? Actually, I think he had double figures one game, like ten points. So Laramie working it around. Boy, Oppie's just abusing him now. He's got eight points, all pretty much on layups here in the third quarter. 17 point Laramie lead. Sal just not playing well tonight. I just don't see this Laramie team as 17 points better than Sal. Neither do I. Bird. Bird finally makes a free throw for South. It's his second. Eight points for Bird. This next free throw is being brought to you by Missile Drive Auto Body. And he hits them both. Three twenty-six to go, third quarter. Laramie up fifteen here, and they'll bring it across. Ooh, Oppie that time gets taken away by Ray Doherty. Up ahead to Bird, and he traveled. Yep. <laughs> That's obvious there. You know, South hasn't had too many turnovers this game, honestly, which is good. No, they haven't turned the ball over. They just haven't made a lot of buckets and give, given Laramie a lot of easy ones. A here, lot of easy especially buckets. Especially in the third. There goes, there's going to be a foul on the floor. It's going to be on Man Manzanares. His second. First team foul of the half. Brown for three, boom. Eighteen point. Now a new big lead for Laramie. Mass Manzanares for three. Marcus has twelve points in the game. It's going to be on Jeremiah. His first. Two thirty two to go. And Laramie will have it underneath their own basket. Kern with it up top now on the right wing. Laramie just moving the ball, 15 point. We were quiet He's there for a while. We were just, <laughs> we were just watching. by the action. <laughs> Thought I better say something here. Ooh, oh, that pass. was dirty. 
pretty sick. That was pretty dirty. That was pretty dirty there, man. That was dirty. But Brown's going to be yep. he's getting a little ball handler. Boy, Leandre's going to get teed up if he keeps doing that, man. So Brown commits a foul here. And Ray is at the line. That's an overcompensating free throw attempt right I there. What, man? He was trying to adjust for his three previous misses, and he just straight lined that. 0 oh, for 4. Huh? 0 oh, for 5 is Ray from the line. Huh? Yeah. That sounds about right, 33%. Yep. Brown with the ball out top to Kern. Yep, he's on the line. And it's gonna be a turnover, south ball. Kevin Bell checked back in the game. So, minute 30 to go, third quarter. 17 point Plainsman lead. South working it out top. Bell to Manzanares. Good ball movement there down low to Mari. Manzanares for three, no good. Enzi with the rebound for Laramie. And Kern will bring it across. South down by 10 at the half. They've been outscored by seven here in the third quarter. Find themselves down 17 points. Ooh, nice strip there by Alexander. What? They're calling it, they're calling it on Bell. His fourth. No bonus yet. That's on South's only third team foul, so they've got a few to give. Tiger Moy taking a check in for Kevin Bell. He's got to love his rec specs. I know, right? Kevin's always been the ultimate player. He's probably cut himself a little short throughout his career. He's such a good shooter. Bleak out a lot of, Brown. A lot of shots he should have taken that he's passed up, in my opinion, because he, he tries to put team first. It's hard to find a player that, that's willing to make that type of sacrifice when he's got had so many wide open shots, you know, and not what he was expecting his senior night to be more than likely. Four fouls. Hey, Russ Howe. Russ Howe is watching. Russ Howe. Jaden Brown sets that top 16 seconds to go. Laramie's going to zip to score. Nah, this isn't zip here. It's an ISO. Anzi can't get it to go. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. So after three quarters of play, it's Laramie 54 south, 37. You're listening to High School Basketball on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon knows great hair. Whether it's for a trim, getting rid of stubborn gray hair, or just freshen up, Majestic Butterfly is a cut above the rest. Formal hairdos for school dances or getting ready for the happiest day of your life. The professionals at Majestic Butterfly know how to make you look your best and feel your best for every day and for every occasion. 
offering women's, men's, and children haircuts, color services, perms, eyelash extensions, and eyebrow and lip waxing. Call 307-369-2201 now for a free consultation and schedule your appointment. Stylists can also be contacted directly at the numbers below. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly, hair, and beyond. One thing I do love about the South fans, Steve, when we come while we're back here, their passion for the team. They do have a lot of passion. That's one thing I do like about it. Got a lot of passion. They do. I love the passion they have for the team. It's, it's a shame that it's taken us the whole season before the student section got this loud, though. <laughs> I know. We've had a lot of home games that weren't quite this loud. No, it's, it's been great to see. It's, been, it's a great atmosphere. This gym, when the fans are getting into it, I, I can't think of another gym in the state that I'd rather be in than South's gym when the fans are getting into it, Steve. And with a 17-point deficit in the fourth, the fans are still behind their Bison team here. Three-pointer, nice. Oppie. Laramie's won the last four games against the Bison. 20-point victory in the first. Game of the season, they've got 20-point lead here. Bird can't get the three to go. I think that's where South fell in love with a three-point shot for some reason. And, and here comes Bird. Yep. That was a clean block. Cameron got up like he was angry. He, was, he should be. But not at him. That was a clean block. <laughs> Clean foul. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't Ooh. a. You know what I mean. That was dirty, man. It wasn't no. dirty at all. Who was? Who was the foul on? It was on twenty-two. Cameron three for six from the free throw line, on the night. Makes it first. He's still up. Now, who's the foul on? 22. Say? Oh, that's Oppie's fourth. Not that it matters at this point. 19 point game, seven minutes to go. Well, we've seen South come back from this big of a deficit in the fourth before. But we were hitting free throws. Brown with an air ball there, and here come the Bison the other way. Manzanares three. Boo yeah! <laughs> He's feeling it. So South will take a timeout here. 6.41 to go in the game. It's Laramie 57, South 41 on 11-12 BISN. Your Bison Network. Pena Business Services, providing bookkeeping, payroll, tax, and notary services since 2007. At Pena Business Services, they help small to medium sized companies and nonprofits for all your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax needs. They also help individuals with their tax preparations, helping manage your day to day accounting with services provided on a schedule that fits your budget. Their goal is providing business owners like you peace of mind on your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax concerns so you can focus on your business. Bookkeeping is like a puzzle. Do you know where to put all of the pieces? Give Pena Business Services a call at 307-369-2708 to set up a free consultation. Up 16, 640 to go to the ball game. Boy, that Brown sure does use his off-ball arm a lot, doesn't he? Yes. Hooks, pushes. Try to get down low to Morris. They do. And he's going to be fouled. He'll go to the be, line for two. It's going to be Maury's first, only his first foul. So Morris, he's three for three. Morris averages five and a half points a game. Make it three for four. Oh 
Tiger Moy taking to take a seat. 56% free throw shooter. South will open against Sheridan next week. Sheridan, the number one seed up there? They own the tiebreaker against Thunder Basin. Wow. From what Coach Schaefer was telling me. And here come the Plainsman. Adair, two-point basket. Back up to 18 is that lead. Do they get two games at regionals no matter what? Yep. It's probably travel there, but. One game the one night. They're guaranteed a two games. One, one game one night, game another on the second day. That's how it is now. If they lose the first one, can they come back to, yep. to get a berth? Yep. So here comes Adair the other way for Laramie. Throws it off the back of Bridger Bleak's head. Now there's a scrum on the floor, and they're going to call a tie, tie it up. <laughs> Maury, he's just a tough old kid, huh? Yep. So it'll be south ball on the tie up. Manzanares will bring it across. Maury with two point basket there. Yeah, Maury's quietly two, four, six, eight, ten, 13 points for Maury. And you know what? Quietly. That's an offensive foul, yep. He was. Got too wide. He got too wide. That was a great call. <laughs> great call from a postseason ref there. Great mechanics as well. He did do the player control, though. There wasn't a player control foul. No, he did. Did he do player? At the very end, uh, yeah. Dude, you lost the, pl the, the black again. What? It's right there. <laughs> Dude, Dude man. man, how do you keep losing that? I don't know, it just falls off, man. See this one? This is the original one. Is it? That's the third one for yours, dude. dude. <laughs> know, dude. 4.56 to go in the ball game. Yeah, it probably happened when I was interviewing the Lady Bison, actually. Probably. Dodd misses. Morris down for yep. a Jumped in rebound, going. and he's going to get a foul called on, I believe, Maury. Yep, it's going to be his second. Fifty-nine to forty-five. Unless one of the South teams makes it to state, this will be our final broadcast for quite some time. Quite some time. Probably till. Football season, huh? Yeah. A little longer for me. <laughs> huh? A little longer for me. Why is that? It's my son's senior year. Yeah? You going to abandon the 11 12 BISN? No. Well, Just see what happens. I don't want to miss his games either. I might take a year off. We'll see. So, Morris. Makes both free throws, it's a 16 point lead. I'm not saying we won't be completely not broadcasting next year. There'll be times when we'll broadcast, but. Boy, Garrett Dodd, hands all over. You only get to watch your son's senior year one time. One time. South will be at the line from here on as Laramie Committed eight fouls. One and one. I almost credit this one to. Oh. This is the front end. He was two for three at that point, too, up until then. He's quietly got five points. It's been a lot of quiet points for the Bison. Yeah, you, tonight, know. you know? This is what Schaefer likes to do. He's going to extend that offense. 
You know, Bird's got 10 in the game. They've been pretty quiet, 10. I, Ray's got to finish that, man. And Don't get me wrong. Now for Bird. I'm glad that I'm glad that Cameron got that, but he had the full. He had a wide open shot. <laughs> 60 second timeout called by Jim Schaefer. Let's take a timeout with him here on 11 12 B I S N. Your Bison Network. Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon treats your hair like their canvas. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly offers women, men's, and children haircuts, as well as color services and perms. Your hair is their masterpiece. So if you are looking for a new style, great hair doesn't happen by chance, it happens by appointment. Our stylist can schedule an appointment by calling any of the numbers below, or you can call Majestic Butterfly directly at 307-369-2201. Majestic Butterfly, beautiful hair with beautiful care. Back from the Pena Business Services timeout, your South Bison trailing 61 to 47 in the regular season finale here at Bison Gymnasium. Both these teams will be up in Gillette next Thursday and Friday, guaranteed at least Friday, as they will play the number one and number two seeds from the Northeast. Cheyenne Central will be the one seed playing Natrona. Cheyenne East will be the two seed from the Southeast playing Gillette. Campbell County. So Laramie gets it in, under four to go. Eli Kern with the ball out top. Laramie just gonna move it around. And Morris can't get the shot to go. Adair can't get it to go. That's a travel. He fought his own teammate for the rebound. Yeah. <laughs> Number two and number 11 were battling, and they were like, oh, sorry, man. Battle Royale. <laughs> you don't see that very often, dude. So Ray will have the ball now for South. Probably. It's a 14-point lead. I mean, it's plenty of time. stranger things have happened, but they got to do something here in a hurry. And Bird will go baseline. Ooh, he tried to dunk it over the top of Enzi, and here comes Oppie the other way. He can't get it to go, and Michael Mascarenas with the rebound. Here comes Mascarenas. Gets stopped by Enzi. Out top. Now down to Mari. Yep. And are we gonna get some continuation here? Guess it doesn't matter. One on one, no continuation. Alexander one for two from the free throw line. Well, he just backed Enzi down, and Enzi's not a small, small guy. No, he's not. <laughs> Maury with 13. I wonder what his career high is. In varsity? Yeah. I don't know. He had 31 in a JV game last week. Did he? Two weeks ago. Last two, week. Last week? Against wow. Central. Wow. That's a big game. Out top to Morris. Wide open three, Kern. Can't get it to go. Geez, Morris up big for a rebound. And he'll put one back and get an and one. Alexander with the foul. Nine points for the freshman, Morris. Looking for his 10th here. The and 4A. Looking to give Laramie a 17 point lead. 4A West Conference Regional will be in Evanston next week. 4A East will be in Gillette. And we will be here at home. Me and you. Because we didn't get postseason this year. No, we didn't. I thought I, <laughs> I, thought I got robbed. <laughs> Leandre uh, Ray scoops a bucket in. That's his first field goal of the game, Steve. Two minutes to go. 14-point lead. 
Dude, thanks for telling me that. But I got to fix that. A little bit of zip to score here. Kern gets to the basket pretty easily there for Laramie. It's his first two points of the ball game. He's been in for a lot of action too. Minute 30 to go, 16 points, and now I think you could say it's officially academic here. Ray for three, and it hits the stanchion up top. The stanchion. Hey, make sure you follow us on the social media links that you see popping up in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Like and share our Facebook pages. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free, doesn't cost you anything. Shows your support towards local, local live streamers like 1112BISN that can bring you these games at no cost to you. South getting some seniors back in. <coughs> Tannen Van Tassel, Tiger Moite, Hunter Scott. You know, I'm surprised Kevin Bell's been out this whole fourth quarter until just now. So just about a minute to go. Laramie just going to dribble around the perimeter. South down by 16. And I want to give a special personal thanks to some people this year. Campbell Hunter County Hunter. School District Tech Department. Wildpreps.com. In, er, Kern with a two-point bucket. All of the hospitality rooms throughout the year that served us free food. Grandma and Grandpa to Brian. Our families and loved ones for putting up with us all broadcasting year. The Bison athletes and their families. All of the opponents' athletes and their families. And, of course, Koi Steel for still having the coolest name we've ever seen. Koi Steel. And the number one thing we want to spe give a special thanks to, Cherry Sours. And more importantly, my partner here, Steve McDonald, Mark Puev, all the score, score booth ladies, Phil Thompson, Kate Tejan. As I'm officially announcing, next year 1112 BISM will be on a hiatus from full time broadcasting. Evans for three. Almost got one to go, and the crowd was going wild for him. We'll still broadcast on occasion. We just won't be able to broadcast next year as often. So 30 seconds to go. Laramie's just going to pull it out and hold it. And that'll do it here for the 2020 season for 11-12 BISN, barring something spectacular at regionals next week. The final score here is Laramie High, 67, Kevin. South High, 49. You've been listening to high school basketball on 11-12 BISN. Your Bison Network.